Trevor just has this thing about sports. He would give him a ball. He would run around after the ball. All Trevor wanted to do was play. Trevor and I were close growing up just because we did every activity together. We swam together, we played soccer. Straight up, Ashley would just play soccer with the guys. Me and her were just always very, very close. Both my parents were amazing athletes and they had a shop called Athletes Corner. My dad would always pull me and my sister out of school like on Fridays. Oh, you know, I think my kids are sick today, you know. <laughs> and we'd go to the mountain and go snowboard. <laughs> You would see nothing but white teeth. It was, he, he wouldn't even go inside to get something to eat. No, I gotta do it again, I gotta do it again, I gotta do it again, and again, again, again. The morning of my accident, me and my friends went up to Vail Pass and we tried building a jump. My two buddies drop in first, I drop in last. I ended up trying to spin off of it and caught an edge right off the jump. And then I tucked my head so I didn't want to land on my neck. And I landed right on my back. And my buddy was like, come on, man, get up. And I literally looked at him, I, I can't get up. And immediately I was like, oh, maybe I broke my hip. Um, but right when I looked at my feet, I knew I was paralyzed instantly. My injury, I shattered T11, T12 of my vertebrae. I punctured my spinal cord and dislocated my back. And they basically told me, you just got so much work done in your back. There's no way, like there's no way you're even gonna move again, walk again, anything like that. A spinal cord injury is a life-changing injury. You're a hard-charging individual that loves action sports, and all of a sudden half your body doesn't work. How do you live with that? After getting injured, I took all these things that I learned playing sports as a kid. It was like, all right, how can I make this a game? How can I get in my wheelchair fast? How can I go to the bathroom on my own? How can I drive? How do you find purpose? You gotta find community. Because sport and community align together. I was like, hey, why don't you come up to Snowmass and why don't we try sit skiing? I just remember like trying to turn and I couldn't turn and I was just like, Oh my goodness, like what do I do? Like I'm freaking out. I thought I was about to like go straight into the woods. In my mind I was just like, oh my goodness, like is it really this hard? It was a little emotional because I was like, wow, he's back out here. He's he's skiing. You know, I hopped in there and I could go anywhere on the mountain. I felt free. I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Trevor's biggest goal once he started getting into sit skiing was to make the Paralympic team. And started out his third winter and decided that he was gonna free ski. I did not think Trevor was gonna be a professional free skier. It wasn't a thing. My dad and my sister and even Roy were like, kind of chuckled when I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to try to make a living off this. I want to get sponsors. I want to like do this for a career. No one had ever done big mountain stuff and hit the park and Trevor was determined to be that first sit skier. Trevor was progressing so fast in a sit ski. You know, hit five foot jumps, 15 foot jumps, 25 foot jumps. I just really wanted to keep pushing and pushing and pushing it. Trevor was starting to set a bar that others hadn't seen. Top free skiers and snowboarders were sharing what he was doing, and I think that's what ultimately got Trevor the invite to Kings and Queens. What an amazing venue this is. Let's talk about Corbett here at Jackson Old Mountain Resort, one of the most iconic features at any mountain. But let's get underway with this. Let's get to the top of Corbett here for Kings and Queens. There's a high degree of risk in what Trevor is doing. And what he was doing were first. When I finally got to the bottom, that moment right there was literally so incredible hearing the roars from the bottom and then all the athletes and photographers or whoever is up top and just, it just echoing. And just that roar, just everything about it. I was just like, no way. That was insane. I've never heard him so happy. He just 
gets something in his head and he just does it. I know a lot of people were just like, you're crazy, what are you doing? And it was like, no, like I know what I need to do. And this is something I wanted to do. I went to X Games the first time a year after my injury. So I would say 2015. And I've been going for the past six years. I was like, I want to be in X Games. I know I can do it one day. Trevor's attitude, it just changes you. He motivates you. Trevor is an absolute perfect example of why goals work. He's done the firsts in multiple occasions. I would have never guessed this is where we'd be today. He's always dreamed big, but this is just next level big. <laughs> to come full circle again, to where I sit skied for the first time in Snowmass. You know, hey, we've gone to this for the past five years, X Games. And it's like, nope, we're not just going, dude. I'm in it and you're gonna watch me. I really can't wait to like, stomp it, ski to the bottom, and give my sister a big hug. This is really the beginning of what I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs>